Hey guys, welcome to the channel, and today we've got an Elden Ring video for you. If you're anything like me, you're not the greatest Souls player alive, and some bosses can be incredibly frustrating. One of the more difficult bosses I encountered early on in Elden Ring was Bloodhound Knight Dariwil. This guy moves quickly, has incredible range, and throws a lot of different combinations, and it can be difficult to know when to dodge and when to go in for a punishing blow. Did, oh, did I mention he can teleport? Luckily, I've made every mistake for you, and when it comes to fighting this guy, I'm here to help you. If you like this kind of thing, if you want to see more of these kind of videos, hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow our community. Let's we'll start with the number one thing we want to focus on while fighting the BKD, and that is keeping our distance. Why does this help? For starters, with how quickly he can be on you and the amount of attacks he can throw rapidly, it's best to give yourself some space to react to the attacks that are coming in. In keeping with this idea, we want to make sure if we're using a sword or a bladed weapon, that we're wielding it with one hand. What we might lose in power, we will greatly appreciate in the range we get to keep. If you get too close, just back up. BKD has two attacks that he greatly telegraphs, and these are the ones we also want to exploit. BKD has two dashes, he telegraphs when his arm begins to glow orange. When this happens, we see two different attacks. One is a dash with a swipe, followed by a somersault and a violent downstroke. The other is a dash with a swipe, and then a second dash with a second swipe. Both are incredibly telegraphed and require different responses. The initial dash on both attacks look identical, and we're always going to want to dodge roll backwards. While we're dodge rolling backwards, we're going to be able to see the second move. Somersault requires just a couple more steps back, followed by a strong blow moving forward, which when time right should land and momentarily stun the BKD. We don't see the somersault leap and downswipe. It means he's going to dash and swipe again. We're going to want to dodge roll backwards one more time to avoid the blow, and when he's outstretched and helpless, come forward again with another strong blow. Once completed, we want to re-employ our strategy of keeping our distance. A couple of things to note. The placement required for the strategy is crucial. And standing in the middle of the ring will throw our distance off. So it is best to take this fight right on the fringe of the center ring, constantly using it as a guide to keep us circling. Getting too close to the outer barrier can be dangerous as well, because the last thing we want to do is get hung up on the outer wall. When the Bloodhound Knight Dariwell is able to close the gap and land blows, he is relentless. You can employ this strategy to make dealing with this boss fight a little bit easier. A couple of other things to note, when you spawn into the boss fight, you'll be in the center ring, and moving forward will spawn the Bloodhound Knight Dariwell. There's an opportunity to land some cheap initial damage, but attack too soon, and you'll note he has some immunity while spawning in. This is another great opportunity for dealing a strong blow. As the windup required takes a lot less risk out of hitting the BKD too early. Guys, I hope this helps, and we'll see you in the next one.